Hello, Monster Baron here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part four of my Mussolon campaign with the Red Duke, where the monsters abound. Bretonian Siege Promise, where every episode will have a siege against a Bretonian castle until there isn't. In which case, ask your money back, and I will 100% give you all your money back that you spent on watching this episode. Well, no, wait, no, because you could potentially use expenses like electricity and shit. No, you don't get any money back. Fuck you. <laughs> so, so, more Bretonian sieges, because why not? Uh, there's a lot of Bretonians around. Uh, well, there's less of them now, obviously. Um, but there's definitely, definitely a lot of, of bowmen. And look at these poor people here. Ugh. And of course, our weird looking archers. Look, little, little piggy face. This guy's got a weird goatee. Ugh. No wonder he's an outcast. And this guy's literally a... What the fuck is wrong with you? You look a monkey. What the hell? My army is filled with damn dirty apes. Do you have a big... Do you have, hang on. Are you trying to hide your horn? With a goatee. I'm gonna be honest, the, the cure is worse than the disease. <sighs> wow. I mean... Do we literally find anyone who can hold a bow? And just and just go like, ah, it's fine. That'd be alright. Be fine. Anyway, uh, so... Missiles raining down on the uh, enemy army, which is exactly what we want. We've got the ghosty ladies coming over on the flank. Good girls. And our archers. Yes, yeah, so we now have eight units of archers coming on down to help out my hope is what we can do is rain fire down on this blob over here i have no aoe spells which is a shame because this is exactly what you need aoe spells for this uh, this this blob here is going to be immense it's going to be an immense blob it's going to be great trust me Once again, we're trying to smash down. I mean, obviously, once we smash down the gate, we're going to have a lot of stuff to kill our way through. Um, I mean, they do outnumber us. Not as much as I thought, though. But still, 3,600 Bretonians, and they've only got one unit of knights. So it's literally 3,600 men at arms. It's a lot of men at arms, isn't it? It's a fair old few of the buggers. So yeah, we're sort of... Aim is to try and take out the units on the gate there, which is generally fine. We've got more skeletons climbing up the walls to take on the men at arms over here. Just swarming them with everything we've got. Over here, we've got a slightly better unit. So we've got some Grave Guard and the Wailing Hags, who of course are making short work of the the cheap and pitiful Bretonian infantry. Not to mention the fact that the Wailing Hags have um, their Discourage banner. Oh, is that overwriting there? That's overwriting their their melee debuff. I might have to take that off them then. Hmm. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? It's, I mean, it's it's fine. The fact they cause terror and also can reduce leadership is is pretty pretty devastating anyway. It means that the enemy leadership is pretty poor wherever they're hitting them. We're through the gates. Uh, but there's a lot of Bretonians to kill, but we've got a lot of Winds of Magic to cast so we can spend, you know, heals and Van Hal's Dance Macabre, which of course increases our melee attack. About 26 melee attack, I think it increases by, which is, you know, pr pretty, pretty good. That's pretty, that's going to make you pretty killy. Uh, we're now raining arrows down on the heads of the Bretonians. I mean, you can't miss. You just fire fire missiles in the general direction, he says there's lots of missiles. Miss the Bretonians, but uh You know, what you gonna do? So anyway, that's that's hopefully thinning them a little bit. We're kind of targeting the Knights of the Realm. You can see they're almost dead. They've done nothing and they're almost dead. Come on, guys. 
in you come. There we go. Red Duke coming in. We're spawning in some Skellingtons. In the midst of this peasant mob. That's going to fuck them up. Okay, we're, we're just dealing with uh, some spearmen who are weirdly resilient. And once they're all dead, we can bring the this unit, these units on the wall down here to help out on the attack on the center. Over here, we are mopping up all the units on the walls down here. We've just got some spearmen we've got surrounded there. Killing them, pushing across, and uh, just dealing with the last of the few little stubborn holdouts on the top of the wall there. Our archers, a lot of them actually run out of ammunition, but they've killed a lot of stuff. So good on them. Well done. So yeah, it's uh, retreating there. You can see the... We're now... We've got, we've got the same number of units. Despite the fact they thought it was 3,000... They thought it was 600 more than us. Although, of course, that's probably the units that we've summoned in. And I summoned them in right in the middle of enemy units. to so just sort of, like, cause distraction. Um, but it does mean they tend to get carved up pretty quickly. So more skeletons down here. So, of course, that's going to then cause... So of course, as soon as units start getting hit in the back, they take a morale penalty. So that, of course, then means they're more likely to break. If a unit breaks, they might cause um, panic amongst other units. So using some skeletons behind an enemy unit can potentially cause a mass rout if you're lucky. And now our Wailing Hags getting in the mix as well. So that's going to reduce leadership further. There's the uh, enemy general. Red Duke is trying to deal with him. You can see quite a few units starting to waver as we push on. Still quite a sea of men-at-arms. They're still fighting on. Bless their little arts. Up on the walls, we are victorious. Just need to mop up those. We can bring all of our guys down to come and help. We do have a unit currently advancing on our flank, but I'm not so worried about that one. The enemy paladin is, I think, almost dead. He's going down. The enemy general's in a lot of trouble. What I wouldn't do for a wind of death here... An overcast wind of death would carve its way through all of these, and it would be immense. I mean, it's not quite Isabella's... Because if, if you do it right with Isabella, you can cast two winds of death at the same time. I think. Can you cast two winds? I think... I'm fairly sure you can cast two winds of death at the same time. and Or at least, like, very shortly after. And I have done one where one goes one way, the other goes up, and it's just like... It just carves a, tr a very large chasm through the enemy line. Um, killing potentially thousands. It's, uh, it's pretty legit. And we summoned in skeletons behind. And as you can see, that's how the design effect. All of these units instantly break. And it's, it's carnage. We're chasing them down. They're trying to flee. A lot of them will get away. As they scarper off down this side tunnel. But there's plenty that won't. Little summon skeletons in the back there. It's done their job. These guys are out of here. Well, that was complete and utter carnage, wasn't it? We did lose a skeleton, though. Shame. But we also made a big old pile of dead bodies. Ooh, the hungry. Nom, nom, nom. Tasty. Uh... So, ooh, we could get, oh, I could get more ghost ladies, couldn't I? Holy shit. I mean, we've got the money now, haven't we? We're literally rolling in it. I am a lord of Britain. And we should definitely Never. take Castle Artois before, um, do I want honor or death? Or do I want unliving host? I kind of want unliving host, but. I think the 10% damage resistance is just too good not to take. Um, I'm going to get another of you because I love my ghost ladies. All the ghosty ladies, all the ghosty ladies. Put your hands up because they're going to stab you. Get one of you. Good. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, looking looking fine. Uh, of course, we've got... Oh, military alliance. 
Okay, fantastic. Uh, Carl's down here. Should I be concerned about that? Maybe. But if I do have... I mean, who, who are you at war with? Shut up. You're just at war with the Skull Smashers. You may declare war on me. And if you do, you might take Montfort. Would that be a problem? Yeah, I'd live with it. It is forbidden. That's a little bit of a concern. But I think we're okay. For sleep shines. I will not we could do a little bit of stab. Oh, you know what? We, do? we need to do some stabbing, don't we? we oh, there's an agent down there. I should have stabbed you. And then we could get a little blood kiss. A little blood smoochy. That'd be good. Oh. But I think we need we need to hit Castle Artois. You're not you recruiting. Far, you don't have a big garrison. So we should be able to take that quite easily. That's then the springboard we need to hit Corone. And once we've got Corone down, bosh. Luther Hearts is hello. That's got Trek. You've hired Got Trek. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Got the Book of Arkham. Got a saucy bard. No! Fuck. Bollocks. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. Alright. We'll have to hit them next turn. It's a pain because they're going to do some recruiting. Although I don't think they can recruit too much stuff. So we'll be okay. It'll be fine. Now you're a, you're a stabby guy, aren't you? So you would be quite good. It is simple. Could I stab you? 35% chance. I failed to stab. Never mind. You, on the other hand, what do you do? So, you're kind of like a caster, which would be... Uh, you know what? Let's pop you in Molo... Mulebed. 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 Ami. Sakabu. Because that gives them some, a little bit of magical support, which I don't currently have. Oh, I guess get some doggos. I just don't know if they're going to be that useful. We could get our grave guard back. You know what? I want my grave guard back. They got great weapons, but that's fine. Um, I could get the hungry as well, or I could see what else I could spend my pennies on. Um, you know what? Public order is actually not bad. Carrot Ziflin is fine. Montfort's fine. Bordelow's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. This is good. Uh, Research-wise, let's go for raise newly dead because that's going to give uh, melee attack for some stuff. Ultimately, we want to get down here because this is going to give the 100% upkeep reduction for skeletons. I'm interested to see what, what Gotrek does because we're kind of blocking his path. Now, I guess we're not at war with him, so he should be able to oh, he's just wandering back. Okay, that's fine. Um, what about that other army? Where are they going? That's That's a bit of a... It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Where are they off to, do we think? I must keep my holy vow. No. Okay. So you're heading back. Don't know why. Not sure what you were up to, but never mind. Um, you have some more infantry, which is a bit of a pain, but should be fine. I mean, we, we killed more than this. Uh, it says Pyrrhic Victory already. It would kill a lot of stuff, though. But we're going to continue the siege. Oh, there's uh, the Skull Smashers. What do you want? I could just get some bats. I could just get some bats. The Doom, the, the doom Relic. What would that do? So it gives Doom and Darkness and Soul Blight. Also gives Undead... 10% damage resistance and 5 melee attack. Huh. Interesting. Meanwhile, you guys, you have the hunger, so basically you just regenerate while you're in combat, which is okay. Do I just get both of these? Sure. Sure. Right, let's go and take... Can we take this castle now? Are you going to kill too much stuff? What are you going to kill? An archer and a skeleton. Do I care about that? I've just killed a lot of castles lately. You know what? Just don't resolve it. It'll be fine. We've killed a lot of castles. 
I'm just a bit sick of killing castles, so we'll do that. Uh, we could do a little bit of recruitment to replace what we just lost. Is there anything we can build? So we could build that, but I don't not not super into that. We got public order here. What is the public order currently? Plus six, which is actually fine. Um, so we can actually knock down the one there. We can get walls in that in Montfort, which probably makes sense. Aquitaine's already got some walls. Mousselon's already got walls. Yes. And Gisero doesn't. But I do quite like the Vampiric Corruption. Because we don't have a lot of Vampiric Corruption. Though. Obviously, we're, we're spreading... With vamp spreading. But it's not quite there yet. Um, let's go evasion, because I would like to get Wind of Death. Because we don't have any AoE spells at the moment, and Wind of Death is a good one. So do we just want to hunker down for a minute? Can we hunker down? We can do agreement. that. That will give us a little bit of replenishment. This be important. Let's merge you guys. And his recruitment, so 350. So it's actually cheaper to raise the dead. So we'll do that. Give you a turn to replenish, and then we need to start thinking about how we take out Corone. We need to do that. Are you allied with anyone? I no, but you are at war with the Skull anger. Smashers. Okay, we just need to try and... If we could just keep these jerks at arms... Hello. Do you not understand that I am your superior wretch? Oh, can I just have a non-aggression pact? Very well. Good. Thank you. Right, we can leave each other alone. I can kill Corone. Everyone could be happy, apart from you, obviously. And more growth? Do we have growth? What are we doing here? We're doing growth here, aren't we? Yeah. So we've got a quest battle over there, which I want to do at some point. It's probably not right now. Uh, public order's actually absolutely fine here. So we could potentially go with more growth. Because that would be good. Uh, we've got seven seven turns for more growth. Jesus. Alright, just build that. Apparently wine yards will make the undead more plentiful. Maybe they're just maybe it's just really shit wine. Just kills people. And then we can raise them up. That's probably what we're doing. <sighs> Seriously, guys. You're literally... Okay, I've got, I've got some questions here. Because one... You're fucking miles apart. Alright, there's literally no point declaring war on each other. Because you're not going to get to each other. Secondly... You're both undead. Surely you should be a little bit more chill. Like, I know you're not... Alright, fucking fuck it. There is desperation in your pitiful eyes. Hello. Yes, I thought you might eventually do that. Okay, so we're going to have to... Wo we've got to worry about elves now. Ugh, I hate elves. This is absurd. Ugh, elves. This night. All right, let's, let's go and deal with you first, because if we don't... What do you want? You could potentially be an issue. It unto me. You'll probably run away. My guess is you'll be like, oh, no, actually, I changed my mind. All right. Oh, come here. Can you sh... Oh, that's 28% chance. That's not great. Valiant Lord. That's not great. Okay, well, you know, just give it a shot. It's 28% chance. It's worth a punt. Fail. Oh, we do get a blood. We got a, we got a three blood kiss though, haven't we? What do I want? Research rate would be quite nice. I'll keep for heroes. I do actually have quite a lot of heroes, don't I? So, because that's two eight eight three four five. Another two eight eight there. You're another two eight eight. So we could reduce that by half. Which sounds quite... That sounds like a good shout, doesn't it? Because that's going to give us... I reckon that's going to give us a nice big saving. All right. Not as much as I expected, but still better than nothing. You dare. Do you not count as heroes? You motherfuckers. 
<laughs> don't fucking count. Ah, uh, I wanted to slash all of your wages, not just Thyrus. I was like, this is going to save me lots of money. Cut everyone's pay, and it's just Thyrus who gets his pay cut. That's going to really annoy him. Never mind. Um, so apparently everyone else is getting full pay. Well, shit. <laughs> oh. oh, oh well, never mind. Never mind. Right, kill, kill elves. Absurd. No, it, very much not upset. Very much what we're going to be doing. I'd be interested to see what they're up to. Because we got we got defences all along the coast. So we have to land and go inland. The problem is they could land literally anywhere. My guess is they might run away. But then we'll have to wait for them to cross again to kill them. I was hoping they wouldn't declare war for a little while. Oh, you're on your way, aren't you? I don't know where... You know what? I reckon if I go here... Dance macabre. Yes. And you come down here. You lay an ambush. I reckon... They will come for you. They'll be like, Oh, look! He's defenceless! And they'll try and wreck your face. So, let us get the murky harbour... I think this is fine. I'm a little bit worried about people declaring war on me. Because we're surrounded by a few nasty factions like the Empire, all that kind of stuff. Um, who are you at war with, just out of interest? Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Thousand Moors. Reckon's at war with the Skull Smashers. And you are at war with the, the Skull Smashers and the World Walkers. Okay, at least that should hopefully keep you busy. Hopefully. I mean, does it matter if we kill them? Nah. Might cheer them up after all of our... Yeah! Good old shanking. And we found a student. Not sure how, but there we go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go bomb the bones, just to be gave this, and then defile of the ancient barrows. Let's see if we can get the ambush on these goddamn elves. That'll be good. Uh, you can be a specialist, because I'm gonna use you to shank people. That's your job. Shanking people. What a what a what a way to make a living, as Dolly Parton once sang. Uh, the Neckrunch Brotherhood, kill him. You know what? I stand correct. Oh no! But you 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 are on your little ship. You are not. And you're also marching. So basically, that is suicide. I want to kill me some elves. I'm going to get me some elven scalps. Do I get... Nope, you need to get closer. Get closer. Come here. Come, come here. Come here. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, I just want to resolve that. It'd probably be fine. Probably be fine. Because the bigot... Oh, no, I can't... No. I can't get there. It should be okay. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to get the Unliving Host. Then we're going to get Wind of Death. And we're going to give you... Dreaded Reputation. Okay, let's get rid of you. This be important. I'll get you in there. Never. Oh, that's a lot of archers, isn't it? I mean, that's a shit ton of archers. It is night. Deliver it unto me. Let's just sit here and see if they will come to us. Because it'd be nice if they would. They, if they want to come to us, more than happy. Not sure what I think. I think an army landed and then they killed it, which is fine. We do have the money to stab people, but apparently he's too tired. So this is going to give us a nice big, actually a nice big boost of income. So let's grab that. I mean, income's looking actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. You're just going to stay there for a minute.
The only issue is, because where we are on the coast... Where did they go? Oh, they've gone down there. Because of where they are on the coasts, they can kind of hit wherever. Unless we send you. I should have I should have killed them. I was hoping they'd land and then I could kill them that way, but I don't think I'm gonna be that lucky. At least I mean it should be fine. I just I just really hate chasing people up and down the coastline while they oh, while they decide where the engagement's going to happen, especially if they get multiple armies, which the AI of course can always outnumber you. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to chase them around. I still remember playing Attila and as the, I think it was the Allens. And I had all of Spain, but there was one, one little Roman army and I had four of my armies trying to hunt the fucker down. And it took me ages to get the bastard. Oh, it took me so long. It was so irritating. Eventually, I did get him. Oh, God, who's taking... Oh, the Dreadfleet's taken, taken the south. Interesting. I mean, we could go and hit you now. Can we hit you? You'll probably run away. But maybe... Maybe I can hit you. Let's get him. Impossible. Like half that army is fucking archers. Oh, you are gonna. Oh my god. Okay. So let's put this banner on the geriatric squad. Gives them frenzy and courage and melee attack. They're gonna need it, considering they're facing an army that is the yeah. It's, it's, it's mostly archers. It is mostly archers. It's it's not going to be great. Um, but this should be. Oh, you just kill a couple of archers. Oh, yeah, it's probably better I fight it. Is there anything worse than elves? I can't think of anything. Dwarves, maybe. Yeah, those two. Pretty much. Now, it turns out the elves want to come and play, which I'm like, fine. So I'm going to summon in some zombies. And the reason for that is because they're dirt cheap to, to cast. And also, it's going to give the elves something to shoot at. And then we can shoot at them. Look at these handsome young men and women, maybe. Is there mixed units? Generally don't know. Anyway, versus our horrible pig people. And guess who's winning? That's right, the pig people. Sporting in more zombies. That's it. Get their attention. Pull them forward and wipe out those missile units because those missile units are the worst. Meanwhile, on the flank, we've got our cavalry and the wailing hags. The plan is we're going to try and kill as many of these archers as possible with our own archers and then we're just going to advance. So already, they're just sort of like pushing forward. They're just pushing forward to try and deal with our zombies, which is fine. I'm just spawning, you know, wave upon wave of the buggers. So who if they're zombies, who cares? They're soaking up ammunition, which is fine. And if they kill anything, that's a bonus. They, they won't kill anything. But should they kill something, that's a bonus. Lots of missile fire coming in. Let's see, dealing with those Lothar and Seagar. Perfect. Now our forces are advancing and coming in on the flank. We need to get our Wailing Hags to try and lock down some of these spearmen. And then our cavalry can come in and knock out those archers, which is what we want. So Zombles are being cut down. But they're Zombles. Who cares? Little wind of death carving its way through some spearmen and missile units, doing quite a lot of damage. There, Thyrus getting the—I uh, think it was about 52 kills. The 52 kills, 56 kills, even better. The same, charging in, stabbing people with his big old, his big old halbard. Backed up with the skeleton warriors, and uh, where's the geriatric boys? Uh, there they are. I didn't show these in the last battle, but look at these guys—they're all old. They've all got necromancer heads, so they're all old geriatric people with, with halbards. 
The Bastardiers, yeah, they're going to get a charge in the flank of the Spearmen. It's going to be pretty effective. And then our cavalry already hunting down those archers, which is, you know, what we need to do. Kill, killing off the archers before they do too much damage. That's key. Most of the elven forces actually now retreating, falling back. Even, look, these zombies have got two kills. 11 damage value. That's more than I could have asked for, really. It's 11 more than I expected they'd get. Lots of missile fire coming in on the rangers. They try and surround the grave guard. Not really doing uh, too much damage there. Now we're just chasing down the last, last few units, last few survivors. The... Enemy faction leader is being stabbed. Not doing particularly well. The Red Duke's just circling. Oof. Nice. And uh, the Wailing Hags coming to help out the geriatric squad. Geriatric squad and... Uh, and the, the Hungry. Hungry Ghouls. They took quite a lot of damage, but... Uh, They've actually done okay for themselves. They're fine. They're, they're no Wailing Hags, but they're fine. Look at these spears trying to flee through the Wailing Hags. That's not going to work out for you, is it? That's definitely not going to work out for you. God, Al's the worst. At least these guys died nice and easily. Suffered a little bit of loss, but actually, you know, comparatively, very, very light. Don't think we can probably catch up with you. Oh, but I'm pretty happy with that. This night. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's boost those. You can have... Uh, I do kind of like... I do kind of like having a little bit of magical support there for you. That is super useful. What does the Balefire card do? Because one of them does a good thing and one of them does a bad thing and I can't remember what it is. I mean, not a bad thing, but it's just less useful. Um, I like, I kind of like Curse of Years. So it's, it's a nice little debuff. And you can have... Ooh. Ooh, there's some good stuff here. I... Right, so... Rage is going to give you 25... I mean, that's quite... You know, let's get... Matt, let's get baskets. Let's prod you with sticks until you get really upset. To get fucking fuming! Okay, let's upgrade you. The sooner we can get defences... Along our coastline, the better. I don't want to hinder. I want to stab someone. No. There we are. Nice. Felix got shanked. So got two little blood kisses. I, can't, I mean, the blood the blood dragons could be nice. I just don't. I mean, the, the uh, immune to attrition is is good. Speak your deceitful words and then get out of my sight. Eltharion is there. Oh, yes. No glory. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who does he sound like again? Oh, God, yeah. The... the, the oh, what, what's his... The fucking actor's name. He's a oh, hot fuzz. He's the supermarket manager. That one. Him. Him. Is that one. Oh, Kothik's coming as well. Uh, we can probably kill them, actually. Should we go and, like, raid Mistnar? I don't mind those trespassing because it's going to keep the other guy. Oh, you're. Darkness comes. So you're not. You're just out of range. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? That's disappointing. Uh, so, what could we. I mean, I don't think it's going to build up our, our burgeoning empire. Looks like you're pretty good there, isn't it? Look at that. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy. But. I don't like elves. I'm hoping... I mean, if we're keeping them busy, I'm hoping Malekith would eventually come over and, you know, rip their throats out. And then all the bad things I've been, I've been doing to elves. Suddenly, he'll be super happy about. 
That's the dream. Screw another of you. And we'll ambush. See if we can lure them in. I could get this. To get fire arrows and pox arrows. To be honest, the box standard arrows seem generally fine. The fire arrows do a little bit more damage and fire damage, but... Is that all we get? Hmm. Oh, that... I. You know what? I hadn't realised that the bale fire unlocked recruitment because I wasn't paying attention, so we get a damsel. So you're vicious. You're spiteful. I do quite like beast magic. Having li Does life magic work on undead? I guess so. I do like dropping comets on people, mind. I mean, that, that's, not a, that's, not a, that's not a bad little bonus, that. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I like the fact you make buildings cheaper. Perfect. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Did I recruit the wrong... Fuck! What would you have of me? I'd have you fired. You're determined. I don't need determined! Ah. Uh. What is your behest? It's an HR problem. That's my fucking fucking Jolene. God damn it, Jolene. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on Bretonia. Every time. Every fucking time. Hello. You oh, uh yeah, all right. I'm pretty chill about that. Well, hello there, Trace. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Happened to be sitting just outside Moosalon, I see. Oh, that's a mistake, isn't it? Hey, right, Jolene, where are you? Right. Of the lady. Better pick the fucking right one. Good, Jolene, right. Good. You get Dark Benediction. Immortality. Okay, so basically you're just a box down a damsel, which is fine. Happy with that. Ready. We've got some silver and gods. That's fine. Ow! Really? New mer okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. March. I'm gonna take the money. Ooh, Midnight Ravens of Rakard, a curse with midnight skin, completely unrelated black, seeming to absorb light. The ravens stalk the night unseen, with their milky white eyes being visible in the dead of light. Dead of night, even. Ooh, that, that's, um, that's a mood, isn't it? Eh? Guess I'm going to re-get re you guys. I swear to God. You dare. I swear to God. that was I should have fought that battle. It was not worth it. Have you? Okay, fine. Um, you're going to be quite useful just to sort of like make buildings cheaper. To be honest, that's that's what you're going to be doing. And obviously, we want dread knights, don't we? So that's going to be a charge bonus on weapon strength, which is obviously quite nice. So let's go with that. Unless we could get anything else. Oh, lance of Bretonia or order. Now that's not useful right now, is it? Really. Eventually, but we're going to get the Lance of Bretonia because that's going to give speed and a charge bonus. Not that you guys have much in the way of charge bonus, to be honest, but, you know, a little bit extra. You know, 102 speed. Holy shit. It's pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty fast. Uh, I'm hoping... Right, you... Though I hate you with every fibre of my being, I will hear you. Can you just fuck off? Please. I'm just not that invested in trying to kill you right now. Uh, you know what? I'm tempted to knock this down. But I'm not going to do that yet, because otherwise that would stop me recruiting my 
my archers. But I think we need defences here because otherwise, just gonna have these ruddy elves climbing all over me. Ugh! Just the thought. Ugh, just makes my skin crawl. Okay, you can assassinate better. Because we need them blood kisses. Because those bonuses. Those bonuses is good. And I want more of them. Marimidans. It's a interesting shout for Wurzag? Well, I guess that makes sense. We could go over and torch Mistnar just to show him who's boss. What I need... What I, oh, we can upgrade this. Is that going to give me more garrison? A little bit. It's also going to give me more tax rates, which is quite nice. Yeah, 20%. And give us white kings... And increase... Oh, it's also going to let us recruit... Black Grail Knights. Well, that's something I need in my life. Let's build that mofo. Holy shit. That's pretty good, isn't it? Can we stab you now? Thank you. Good job. Let's make you cheaper. And I'm, get... I'm tempted to get the research rate. We could save... But, I mean, the casualty replenishment rate is nice. Upkeep for all is good. I, I do... Mm, that research rate is, is calling to me. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Because then we can get, you know, free skeletons. And that's going to save us signif quite a lot, actually. When you don't have to pay skeletons anymore. Uh, they cost a little bit more than there. 270 compared to 3. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So you're going to heal up. I'm tempted to go and destroy this, but... I don't know if that's worth it. How much money would that be worth, just out of interest? If I were to go, you know, kill them all. I can't see, because I can't... I mean, currently, we're fairly safe from the Empire and Bretonia. I think bretonia has got other things to worry about. They're also at war with Rakath, so I could concentrate on, like, knock... But the problem is, the more high elf factions I uncover, the more of them are just going to declare war on me. So I might just have to accept that that's just something that's going to happen. Leave Monobad here, or maybe just... You know what? Building defences would probably do it, wouldn't it? If I can get the Accursed City... It's going to take how long? Four turns. Because then we can get defences here. And once we've got defences, we're fairly safe. So I think we do that. We just kind of like wait until... We might be able to wait for them to come across and kill them. I don't... I think the Empire's going to be busy. Well... A little bit. Oh, you're at war with the Golden Order. That's a fresh new flavour. Uh, Marienburg is at war with Rakarth. Yeah, so basically, I think everyone else has got other things to worry about. Um, so I can build up my little empire, get the vampiric corruption going, and uh, then we can bot, bot Bretonia once we've got some defences. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.